Good evening, my name is David Lane. I'm with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is April 9th, 2017, and I'm about to perform a video inspection of the main line of 47 East Empire here in Spokane, Washington. Um, this evening I was called out uh, for a main line backup um, 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 by Steve, um, the uh, tenant here. I, uh, I got here. Um, um, found a like a tight a clean out right by the main stack pulled it holding water there um, uh, went in with a two inch cutting blade pushed out um, about 110 plus or minus feet um, line drained um, put about 10 flushes in there um, flushed okay then I put my camera in and uh, and for a diagnostic standpoint and found um, found a couple of um, uh, problems of concern. Um, the tenant w went ahead and uh, went with a video inspection to, to document the line and this is where we are at. Um, I'm going to start pulling back. What we're looking at here is the Spokane City Sewer. Um, and This is running down Empire. Um, we are sitting in the hub. The hub is what connects the main line to the city sewer. You'll always be able to tell where the uh, bottom of the pipe is by, of course, where the water is, and also, if there's no water, by where my light is at. We're pulling into what looks like, to me, um, four-inch tile. I'm going to give you a footage from the sewer back to the clean-out I'm working out of. Now, the most problematic areas with tile are the joints. The joints begin to uh, offset over time. There, that joint looks real nice. Not too much of an offset, offset, but over time, the ground settles and um, the joints offset, and that's just a, a large breeding ground for roots and things. Um, so here's a pretty large offset. Um, you can see that the that it stair steps down. You can see by where the water's running, and then it stair steps down. Um, directly opposite of where that water's running, you can see the edge of the pipe actually, and that's very um, characteristic of a uh, offset. Perfect example actually. Um, I'm going to continue to pull back here. This pipe, I believe, is made of tile, Orangeburg, and cast iron in that order from the sewer, and we will document. Um, all that we see 18 feet from the uh, city sewer and here we have a bit of standing water so we never want um, standing water in in a main line um, it's it's uh, it looks like it's flowing as I pull the camera back um, it's flowing very very gradually um, the thing is, is we rely on a quarter inch drop per linear foot to carry us to the city sewer. I'm trying to see what that is. It's like a piece of metal, the way it's shiny. Um, we rely on a quarter inch drop per linear foot gravity to carry our drain water out to the city sewer. Anytime um, um, we lose that grade, Water starts pooling. Um, we refer to it as a belly, and uh, and it's no good. You know, uh, toilet paper, solid waste, things um, come down the line, hit the hit the standing water, and just stop. You know, or s flow real slowly, and uh, and over time those things can um, create problems for your main line. Here we're going to transition from tile into Orangeburg. Orangeburg is probably the least preferable pipe that we run across. Um, it's essentially made of compressed wood pulp and tar paper. Um, it has three life expectancies, uh, uh, th excuse me, three life um, stages. It blisters, ovalizes, and eventually um, collapses. Um, its life expectancy is uh, 50 to 70 years, whereas tile, concrete, cast iron, you know, we're looking at 100, 150 years. Um, so you can see just by the life expectancy. You can see where this pipe is 
um, losing its shape. Blisters are happening. Um, we got a bit of intrusions here, and you can see to the left how how the pipe just literally is just losing its shape. This is very indicative of it looks like it's flaking off, um, and it's uh, you know it just looks like there's a almost a trough down the center of it. Continuing to pull back. Those are, uh, you know, when I think of tar paper, I think of it peeling off, and and that's kind of um, what it looks like. You will see um, just misshapen deformities on the pipe. It's not smooth. There's a quarter. We're gonna be rich. Just kidding. Um. Continuing to pull back here. You can see the that's a these are all blisters and pockets that have just been pretty much washed away um, through water usage. And here is the the large root intrusion. So we're at 39 feet, 39. We'll call it 39 and a half from the city sewer. And you can see as I pull back the roots are going to just fall over the camera. I went in with a two inch cutting blade and cut that hole right down the center. The line is going to definitely need more work. That's a very large intrusion. You can also see um, see how the pipe is kind of ovalized there at the top. You see the abrupt edge of the roots. Um, that looks to me like the the top of the or the roof of the pipe, and it looks like um, almost a. It doesn't look circular. It looks like almost like a football shape. Um, that's uh looks like some mobilizing there. The farther away, the more it kind of comes to life as far as um, the shape of it. Continuing to pull back here. Got a little bit of water on the camera. And here we're transitioning from Orangeburg into cast iron right around the bin there. And back in Orangeburg, that's just a cast iron um, uh, bin, a coupling. We see some uh, cast bit debris of cast iron, and now we're back into cast iron. So just a short spurt of uh, Orangeburg there, and then now we're in cast iron. And I do believe that it's um, cast iron all the way back. Um, cast iron is uh, much more preferable and probably um, any other pipe, just the longevity, this stuff will last forever, literally. Um, I've seen pipes that are literally a hundred years old, looking real nice. Um, the most problematic areas I find in cast iron are the, the centers. There's, there becomes like a trough down the center. Um, be, oh, just over time, water wearing it down, um, kind of like a rock, the way I think of it. How water wears down on a rock. We are 67 feet from the city sewer. The bottom of the pipe is at the top of our screen, just inverted. This is a long stretch of cast iron. Normally, cast iron stubs out from the house three to five feet. Um, it's, I believe, it's much more in this case. This is this is the whole run under the house, which very well could be. cast iron pipe looks nice. Some pitting and some some uh, irregularities but other than that um, looking good.
We're about 93 feet from the city sewer. And here shortly we should be coming up. Look at that. Just That pipe looks super nice. Look at that. That's nice right there. Probably been in the ground 70 years. Here we go pulling up the the uh, clean out now. And here's the clean out we're working from. Um, again, my name is David Lane. Today's date is April 9th, 2017. And this will conclude the video inspection of the main line of 47 East Empire um, Avenue here in Spokane, uh, Washington. Thank you very much for choosing Bulldog Rooter.